Hey guys, Final Bex here, coming to you with another video. Um, some more uh, LEGO uh, news was released over the past couple of weeks. I've been awaiting a little while to see if any more news came out before I actually did a video on it. So yeah guys, there's some quite a few stuff here. Um, I've also got a mock contest uh, video out. And if you enter, and if you want to enter, just go and check out the video. All the rules are there, and yeah. Anyway, diving straight in. Um, uh, San Diego Comic Con minifigure um, pictures of it were released. Um, as you can see here, it is the PS4 Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool um, minifigure, as you can see, and for the title as well. It is based off of the Spider-Man PS4 game, which came out run about like early 2018 or something like that. Um, so yeah, guys, um, here he is. I see very nice detailing. Um, the only problem is he doesn't look as if he's got any arm printing, which you could probably swap out for something or something like that. Or if you're a customizer, it would be really easy to just upgrade that but other than that it's perfectly fine and um, they even added in small details down here at the feet which is just spectacular and um, we've got a better image of the minifigure here um, so yeah it looks as if it's got like this pattern design which you would see for a typical Spider-Man suit and um, we've also had it to be for like this type of detail in any other uh, San Diego Comic Con um, exclusive Spider-Man minifigure. Um, so yeah, that wasn't the only thing. Um, another um, Avengers Endgame set. I surprised to be sure. Um, not really an accurate one, but yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure what this set is called. Maybe something involving a helicopter, but for some reason Lego keeps including these wee weird helicopters in all of these sets. We had it in the Avengers Compound set last year, or earlier this year, for the first wave of Avengers Endgame sets, and now we have this one. I mean, like, this one is probably a better design, but yeah. Anyway, so the minifigures are... Um, Nano Suit Hulk with the Nano Infinity Gauntlet with at least four Infinity Stones, Space, uh, spa space Mind, Reality and Soul. Um, the rest were included in the Avengers Compound set, so yeah. And we also get a Black Widow here who wasn't really in the scene, but yeah. Um, we also have Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, character, um, Purple Pots, and the rescue armor. And I absolutely love this minifigure. They reused the Iron Man, like the Invincible Iron Man helmet for her, which I think is better used than the Iron Man Mark 1. Although that one is actually quite good. Um, she also comes with this equipment at the back, um, as well as a couple of those. Um, shots there. Um, she also includes a hairpiece which doesn't really look accurate but the exact time a little bit accurate it's confusing but if you actually see it on the minifigure it's a bit it just doesn't look right. And um, we also get two of these um, Chitari minifigures. Um, we've got one that rides in this wee mini uh, vehicle which I think we saw in a, on the Avengers Assemble. Um, so yeah, um, we've also got another vehicle here. I think this is based off of um, the Leviathan. Um, I have a better picture here, as you can see. Um, it's very, very much scaled down. It is like 50 times bigger um, in the actual film, but I'm guessing LEGO just decided to put it in and scale it down for specifically for this set. Now the main thing for the helicopter, of course, you've got the cockpit for uh, Black Widow. I really love the uh, the colours of this um, helicopter. Um, and as you can see, it's, it contains the same colour as the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. 
um, which is the orange, um, the dark blue as well as some grey. Um, now the main feature of this is, of course, you can fit them Hulk in the back there and there's a wee knob at the top somewhere up there and if you push that down it pushes the Hulk down into battle. Um, so yeah, I think we also have these new pieces here, um, which fire a couple of studs. Um, so you just push in that and yeah. Um, next thing, um, the San Diego Comic Con, another exclusive set. Um, it is set 77903 aka the Dark Knight of Gotham City and it includes 427 pieces. Um, the box art in this is really amazing. Um, it's to celebrate 80 years of Batman. Um, so yeah, I have the set picture here. Um, so yeah, it's just like a diorama type of thing. Um, as you can see, um, is Batman is sitting on a like the edge of a building. This minifigure is not exclusive. Um, so that's a little bit better for Comic Con exclusivity. Um, it has got an exclusive tile, or I think it might be a sticker down there, saying Batman 80 years. Um, and then you also have like the buildings in the background with the bat symbol and things like that. So yeah, I really like this one. I prefer this uh, set over the Captain Marvel one. Um, probably because of the build, not really for the minifigure, but for the build it is just far better. Um, then we also have some new Overwatch sets, and we have set 75976 aka Wrecking Ball. Now, I've not really played Overwatch, but um, yeah, this set looks quite cool. Looks like a, like a hamster ball. Um, as you can see, we've got the hamster there. That of course, I think it goes inside because you get a small hatch there. Um, hopefully it has like some sort of cockpit um, and things like that. And the detail here is amazing. Um, I really like the design of this. Um, it's also got quite a few stickers and things like that. Um, it's just a bit unfortunate that it's not printed. Um, so yeah, we also have set 75977 and it says for ages 10 plus and it is known as Junk Rat and Roadhog. This is like a giant motorcycle on some sort of stand um, saying Junker Town. Um, like I said, I don't entirely know what that is because I don't really play Overwatch, but uh, yeah. we ha This is a new Andy exclusive to this set so far. Um, Big Fig, um, it kind of reminds me of Bane from the Lego Batman movie. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice to see like new um, moulds for these big figs. And then we also have Junkrat here who sits at the side of it and things like that. So I would say it's quite a cool uh, build. Um, so yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, check out my other videos if you uh, want to try and enter my mock contest or just to see what type of things I see in my channel. Um, so, yeah guys, um, comment, like and subscribe and if you'd like to see more content and if you like this video. Anyway guys, peace out.